Hey, what's up YouTube? That's right, many of you already know what time it is, and that's because you've been asking me for quite a while to make my famously easy to follow how-to guides for installing the Kodi app on an Amazon Fire Stick or a Fire TV device. Let's get cracking. First, you're gonna need about one pound of silicon dust, which you can buy from Amazon. Link below. Who the hell is rolling the intro around? Come on. Come on. All right, so use a trigger action sifter to get the silicon dust coating all over your fire stick. Very important step right here for crazy people. Wow, what the heck was that about? Anyways, first you wanna boot up your fire stick and that's me in the background waving to you, hello. All right, now click on settings. And then head over to system. And now scroll down, developer options. And right here, you need to enable both of these, ADB debugging and apps from unknown sources. And then click OK on the warning. Okay, now go back to the home screen by clicking the back button four times. Okay, now select search and type in file. And then put a space after file. And now select File Explorer. All right, now select ES File Explorer. And click on Get. Let it install. And now click on Open. And notice on the very bottom, the word new, the third option in from the left. Scroll all the way down with the remote and select new. Okay, where it says type, make sure you have the web selected. Okay, HTTP, web. And now you're going to write in Kodi, K-O-D-I dot TV. And then click next. Now click on OK. OK, this part could be a little tricky, but use your controller to scroll all the way up to the top and then go across so you can click on the downloads link on the website. All right. Now you have to navigate to the Android ARM download link using your controller. It's all good, baby, baby. All right, and we're back. So now click on open file. Terrific. All right, now click on install. All right, click on install again. All right, guys, this is it. You can open Cody right now by clicking open. guys now we simply have to configure this thing um, in the way that you're gonna love me for the rest of your life and that's all I can say let's do it all right so first things first go to system and then go to file manager add source and here write HTTP 
colon backslash backslash F U S I O N dot T V A D D O N S dot A G Fusion dot TV add ons dot AG and then click on done. All right, now we got to give it a name. So just, I'm gonna call my fun. You can call yours Fusion, you can call it whatever. Click OK. Back out. And now we gotta go to System and we have to go to Settings. All right, over here, navigate all the way down to Add-ons. Click OK. Okay, now go to install from zip file. Now click on fun if you typed in fun just like I did. All right, click start here. And now the third option on the bottom, hub wizard. All right, you see this little pop up right here? This confirms that the add on was installed. And now we have to go to programs and start the add on. So simply just back out of all these menus with the back button. All right, go to programs. Program add-ons. Config wizard. And now you're going to click on Android. and click yes alright guys installation is complete you are now ready to use Kodi and what you're gonna use is pretty much the video section that's gonna be your go-to it's already pre-configured with some favorite shortcuts um, that Kodi people love and you just gotta explore on your own and I do want to mention one thing Kodi um, sometimes does have problems because you know some of the links maintained to certain things are maintained by people so it's not a hundred percent perfect but it is something cool and something definitely worth trying on your fire stick on your Android phone your tablet your iPhone but I think iPhone only if you jailbreak it so all right now to go back to Amazon click on the home button twice and I'll bring you to the main menu and if you want to launch Kodi, all you got to do is scroll down when your Fire Stick boots up, scroll down to where it says your apps, and then you just pick it out of the app library and then you just launch it from there. And by the way, whenever you launch Kodi, it might just start updating all the apps, um, especially if they came out with a new version, which hopefully fixed some issues. And there's usually a reminder message, you could just dismiss that. And notice in the lower right hand corner, there's going to be like little messages popping up. Those are the apps that are updating. To keep this video short, I'm not going to be able to fit in some of my other Cody tips. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and I'll fill you in on some more Cody tips in an upcoming video. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure you put them below. I try to answer them daily. So take care and I'll catch you on the next one.